Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Sorry, I haven't been uh, uploading videos for quite some time as I was busy. So, but uh, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And on this thing, I talk about cloud security and you know, things like artificial intelligence and the misuse of it. So if you've been, unless you haven't been checking the internet for the past couple of weeks, you know, this chat GPT, that has been, it has been trending like crazy. It's like a chatbot on steroids. It's been like, it's an AI tool, which has been uh, made using natural language processing. It's like amazing in how it can be used to, you know, just respond like, uh, just like a human and the responses it gives are pretty amazing. I mean, it really is a game changer when it comes to how people will be using this tool and how much it can change the things people are doing. You know, people have been using it to write code. People have been using it to write essays. I'm, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of students and people cheating on their, you know, school examinations with this tool, yeah? People are saying it's going to replace Google and it is quite a powerful tool. But I wanted to talk about the misuse, you know, because if you see my videos, you know, I talk a lot about how the governance and cyber security of AI tools and how AI tools can be misused also and how you can compromise AI tools. And this one, definitely there is a lot of potential here. I mean, uh, if you don't know just how it can be misused, so like... Uh, if you haven't been using ChatGPT, I should definitely recommend you to at least try it out. It is an amazing tool. I mean, uh, you can pretty much use it to like do anything. Even I think like code. Let me check it. Light me up Python code on um, listing S3 buckets. You know, S3 buckets in AWS. Let's see how it goes. So, I mean, uh, the capabilities of these tools are quite amazing. The way they have trained it, the way it has been like uh, what do you call? Uh, the amount of information it has uh, as you can see now it's literally it's writing me a code okay the, you, you can see this now you, you, that's what i'm saying and people have been using it to even check the code yeah but now i wanted to talk about cyber security i mean what are the cyber security uh implications here you can see that's pretty amazing man <laughs> so l let's talk about cyber crime you know and the most simplest the most common cyber attack which everybody knows is a phishing attack right and how do most people like detect phishing attacks? It's because of the, first of all, the impersonal nature of phishing attacks, right? They are very generic. Hello, customer. Hi, you. And they have a lot of mistakes, grammatical errors, right? It's very obvious to tell. It's a mass produced email. And it's like, so let's just take a look at this, right? I mean, w w what do you think I can do with chat GPT? Like, uh, okay, let me, uh, let me write, write me an email from uh let's see from an apple employee yeah supposing i wanted to write me an email which would lo look as if it came from a valid employee from apple when and like i said this model has been trained okay here it goes <laughs> yeah you can see this and i probably if i asked it again it's gonna do it more so you can see that's pretty amazing man Yeah, so now you see what it's writing, right? Just how much, uh, what do you call detail it's putting, how natural it looks. This looks does not look like something that was mass produced. It looked like something which really is coming from Apple. Now, okay, this is the impressive. What about uh, write me an email, uh, what do you call, that looks as if it comes from a HR manager. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, see? Can you see this? Now, are you understanding the things which can be, like, misused? How this thing, a tool can be? It is an amazing tool. Absolutely. I'm not saying taking anything away from it. But you can see now just how cyber criminals are possibly going to be leveraging it, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let me now... Let, you can see how, email, how realistic it looks, right? This really looks like it is if it came from an HR manager. No typos, no mistakes, and very professional looking. So, okay, let me go straight up ahead right now. So, write me um, an email that excites the user and makes them click on a link. Here it goes.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure you can, now you'll be able to customize it more, right? See? Now this is all I need, right? And you can actually customize it more. Yeah. Like uh, make it uh, like it's Christmas time here right now, right? You can make it customized towards Christmas or whatever, like maybe the World Cup, maybe uh, whatever is happening, the Expo 2020 major events. You'll be able to easily use them and create very realistic looking phishing emails. And the thing about machine learning is, so assuming I have around like, I don't know, 100 emails from Amazon or Apple or a, I don't know, Meta, I'll be able to use a machine learning model to train that thing. And then I'll be able to use it, use chat GPT to create a very realistic looking phishing email. I can pretty much automate that whole thing end to end, right? So th this is just how powerful this tool is and how easy it is to get misused. If you are like in, in a cyber crime and believe me, people will be starting doing this now. And so this is how dangerous it can be machine learning and it is going to happen, right? I've already made a video earlier on deep fakes, right? I don't know if you've seen that. I'll try to link it below. Basically deep fakes, how deep fakes are being used to like fool people into thinking they're talking to somebody, right? And they're not actually, actually somebody else. But because of deep fake technology, they're able to superimpose a face on top of a fat face, like, like Mission Impossible, if you've seen it, right? And because of that, supposing you are a database administrator, you're interviewing for a database administrating position. All I have to do is find a database administrator profile on LinkedIn and just copy that guy's face, right? And I'll be interviewed and I'll actually get access uh, to the, what do, what do you call it, to production systems because the employee, and in today's uh, remote working, uh, everything will be happening on Zoom, right? They'll give me that access and everything and I'll be able to compromise the systems. This became so bad that the FBI, they actually had to release an advisory on it just to showing how dangerous this attack is, right? And so what needs to happen is uh, you'll actually seeing, uh, be seeing artificial intelligence systems coming up to combat this type of thing. So even with chat GPT, how natural it looks, it does have a type of a signature and that is what AI tools will be trained on, you know? They'll be looking at just how the email is coming does it look natural? Okay, who is this person and all that and based on that reputation. But, but just to show you your standard phishing detection, you know, they are based on keywords, based on misspelled spellings, grammatical errors, that is going to go away very, very fast because we are now in a new era of cybercrime which is being fueled by machine learning. Actually, one thing I tried to, uh, I think I didn't do, let me write this, write me a phishing email. Let's see what happens. To steal credit card information what happens if i ask you to do this i wonder if it stops doing what it actually it'll go with the request now this should be interesting to watch okay i haven't tried this i hope it doesn't block my account or something <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay interesting yeah interesting but like i said if you go up if you go up, it actually has this. See, I don't need to write like I, I'm doing fishing, but uh, you can see this. Interesting, this probably was not happening before, but that means that people have already started using misusing chat GPT, right? That this is just interesting. I wanted to check it out, but I'm just showing you just how a cyber crime is going to change. We have things like deep fake frauds coming up. We have things like chat GPT, which is really going to change the game when it comes to what do you call uh, cyber crime going forward. So I hope this was useful. I thought I'll just put in, pitch in my uh, comments on this whole chat GPT thing and how it's going to change. If you like this, if you like me to share more information on this, do like and comment and let me know. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.